ask this whole situation. It's really interesting. I had no idea Coke was that bad. Coke was woke and it's been woke for a while. Correct. But Coke even was like, wait a second, BLM, who we're associated with, is siding with Hamas. And it blows my mind how local TV stations, national TV stations, all these publications refuse to go after Coke. Coke should be Bud Light for what they have done, the decisions that they have done to get into bed with BLM and what they have tried to make their company about. They're not about providing soft drinks. They're about providing a very liberal media message. And now Hamas does what they do and BLM supports them in all facets. We love Hamas. We got your back, Hamas. Going out and joining the rallies for Hamas and pro-Palestine and it's difficult to tell the difference between them all. Now, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody at Coke, I don't know if they were forced to, pressure mm -hmm. to, said, yeah, even as bad as we are. Yeah. So they didn't really say anything, but now they've taken BLM off their website. They sure have. Is Coke done with BLM? I don't know. Coke is now pissed off both sides. That was really bad marketing. Again, like the whole Bud Light thing, because the left now is. By so the way, that woman, that whole staff got fired. That's good. That whole marketing department in California got fired. It took them a long enough to do it. Of course they did, because Anheuser Busch, InBev, is woke as hell. I just don't find it. As many people being all about woke as it might have been more trendy a year, Correct. two years ago. And the more we talk about it, the more we attack it, mm -hmm. the more we break it down, the more we dissect it for what it really is, the more people feel comfortable saying, you know what? We don't need that crap. Right. We don't need to go after this messaging. We already know that the term go woke, go broke didn't start just because it rhymed. It's because it's legit. It's true. Even last week, we didn't get to it. Victoria's Secret last week mm -hmm. came out and said, oh yeah, we tried this woke approach to undies. We tried tried this woke approach to transgenders and putting our underwear and our cloth on people like this. And we're getting away from the models. And you know what? <laughs> Nosedive crashed. So you know what they did? They said, we're going back to sexy. It's terrible. You go woke, you go broke. So Coke is now getting rid of their messaging with BLM. It's interesting. Boy, I hope it stays because Coke is really bad. They won't. They're probably just hiding in the bushes. Yes. You've all seen the meme with Homer Bush from The Simpsons. He likes mm -hmm. to disappear mm -hmm. into the bushes, the bushes. <laughs> uh -huh. and then reappear when things get a little better. You shouldn't be drinking soda anyway. Go against Coke. Correct. Go against it. Don't drink it. They're all about BLM. We had a picture of a can. Is this legitimately on their cans now? Try to be less white. I don't think it is anymore, <laughs> but. I don't think it ever was. But people think it was. People, That's a funny can when we keep that up. I know. I love it. And I don't think it was ever really on the can, but they definitely had the white guilt thing going on their ads is why somebody made that meme for sure. And I'm sure <laughs> the other picture Joe had just put up, Coke didn't have that either. But isn't that a great depiction of drink your Coke while you're supporting. Oh my God. That's kids, terrible. Isn't it? That's not. Oh, Okay, that somebody's doing that. Correct. Some, Coke yeah. did not do that. But that is a great depiction of if you're holding a Coke and you're drinking it, you're supporting the bloodshed of Jewish people. And we're They're not real anymore. Coke got out. I credit Good. Coke for that. They're not backing BLM or BLM started to side with Hamas and they got the hell out. That was we smart. all know that BLM is not the most intelligent organization. They've had dirty leaders. They've had yeah. unintelligent leaders. There was no direction with BLM. They're just not a lot of smart people in BLM. They're just not. No, they're not. And they screwed over their own people. They're selfish. <laughs> their agenda, it, it fell just. Rah, rah, rah. The only reason it even made any marks is because local media was afraid. Yeah. Once again, which is what this show is. We talk about cancel culture, not being afraid to speak up against the crap that's out there. And of course, it's all out there. So Coke, do what you want to do with it. You shouldn't drink it anyway. But just remember, whether Coke is siding with BLM or mm -hmm. siding with Hamas or anything else, they are a highly liberal company Yes, that has backed massive liberal causes and liberal candidates and elections. So just remember that when you think about what you're going to purchase. Now, I talked about this a little bit yesterday. It also goes when you invest money. Humans are, they tend to be greedy. We tend to be greedy. We want to be comfortable. We want our safety. We, we like to be happy. We like to be comfortable. We've gotten used to this wonderful life of comfort where comfort is great and we get things and then the things that we have for many of us aren't enough, so we want more things. And of course, how do you provide that with money? So you invest your money, you want money back. I'm telling you, I've talked and been in meetings, financial meetings, where many people have no idea where their money is going. Mm -hmm. They have zero idea. They're just, they're investing money 
and they could be they may not back abortion but the companies that they're investing in to make money are putting money into abortion correct and so forth if it means anything to you then you're going to study and know it we're just telling you that coca-cola is Woka cola mm -hmm. and just That's remember cool. what you're putting money into and what you're backing unfortunately there are many companies where you're like, oh, dodge this. Oh, dodge that. Oh, and then you're like, what the hell am I supposed to eat? What the hell am I supposed to drink? What the hell am I supposed to support? Because mm -hmm. all the damn money is going to some sort of liberal cause. Gosh. Hello, YouTube truth seekers. I'm Vic Faust with Cancel This. All right, nowadays, it's not enough that you're just trending. Now more than ever, reporting honest, reliable, and really relatable news in a way that is entertaining and fresh is difficult to come by. So if you're a fan of thought-provoking dialogues, if you're ready to challenge your perspectives, and if animated, no-holds-barred conversations get you going, then Cancel This is the morning show for you. From Monday to Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, we guarantee nothing but short of awesome.